Hi everybody, we're here with Dana Fox at Lake Michigan Credit Union. She's been a lender for about 17 years. We brought her on for the buyer boot camp. She's gonna help you get your money right. Anything you need to know that's not on this video, you can always call her, ask questions. We'll put a link to get a hold of her. But for now, Dana, what is the first thing? So first time home buyer looking to purchase that first home, maybe somebody that hasn't bought in a while. Things have changed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interest rates have changed, yeah. obviously, since people have bought last time. Yeah. What's kind of the, the start of the process, you know, for you, uh, when somebody gets a hold of you, what can they expect? What do they need to start thinking about? Okay. So first of all, you're going to need a pre-approval, right? In mm -hmm. order to take them sh house shopping, they need an actual pre-approval letter, right? Mm -hmm. So in order to do that, I need income and asset documents. Mm -hmm. But prior to that, I need to pull their credit. So I want to tell you, don't be nervous when I tell you I've got to pull your credit. That is the first, the first step. And we're going to do a short segment on credit polling okay. all right, and what's yeah. involved with That'll that. That'll be good. So um, you call me or you email me or you find me on my website and I'm going to ask you about your employment information. I'm going to ask you about how long you've you've lived where you've lived because that's important and I'm also going to ask you about your down payment so the documents that I'm going to collect from you mm -hmm. number one will be pay stubs number two will be w-2s and number three bank statements these are very very basic all right so, with the pay stubs and the W-2s, that's what I'm going to use to analyze your income. With the bank statements, that's where I'm going to determine where your down payment funds are coming from. Very good. So, uh, say somebody's a 1099 or a, okay. it's okay, just the, whatever your tax return right, form right, is. Right, so okay. if you're a 1099, you're a, a contract employee, perhaps, you know, you're self-employed. At that, I'm going to need two years tax returns, all right? Okay. Federal tax returns, I need all pages. Please don't let the documentation that I need scare you. I need to make sure that you qualify for what you want. Andy needs to be sure that you qualify for what you want. And I want to get all of this up front so that when you actually start shopping, you are shopping with confidence. Definitely. It helps. And it, it, doing this work up front helps me tremendously. It's going to save you time. It's going to save me time. It's going to save everybody time and heartache. Because what happens in this industry sometimes is somebody will go get one of those quick little online pre-approval letters, give it to me and say, hey Andy, we're shopping at 400000 Then what happens is we find that house at 380000 come to find out they're nowhere close to being qualified there. So not only have we been looking at these big, beautiful homes, which is amazing. Okay, that's great if you can afford them, right? Let's get honest with ourselves. Let's get real. Let's take the effort out of it. It's simple stuff. It's simple. She's going to pull your credit. Yes. Don't be scared Don't. of somebody pulling your credit. People do it every day. Yes. She does this for a living. Yes. It's confidential information. Yes. I won't know what your credit score is. Nobody no. knows. No. Nobody cares. All we're trying to do is figure out how much money you can qualify for in a house. You know? Yes. And it's simple. Yes. It really is. And yes. I think a lot of people try to complicate the process. Yes. yes. Nobody wants to go get their pre-approval. Right. They it, think... Because it, it, it is kind of scary. But it's not. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It isn't. It is. It's confidential. Andy knows nothing. Your information is between me and you. And Andy, all he'll get is a pre-approval letter and it will say, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, you are pre-approved for X amount with X amount down payment. And then Andy gets that letter. You get the same letter and off you go shopping. Yeah. And that's why I like to work with lenders that I know. And I can trust, right? Mm -hmm. So people I know, when they give the pre-approval letter, mm -hmm. that is the arena we need to be shopping in. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I, I like you, you know, we always work with professionals. I'm not a professional in the mortgage in industry. That's why I need people like Dana to give you the information. I didn't even, I don't even, I don't need to know this. Right. So don't ask me this. Right. Ask Dana this stuff, right? right? If you want to know how much the house uh, is worth in the market, that's where I come into yes. play, right? Yes. So this is this is a good starting point. What we'll do next is we'll go into some videos about credit scores and different things like that. So stay with us.